Hello! This video will demonstrate how to install an Intiset PCIRS501 IR receiver into an HTPC case. These instructions can be used to install the IRS5 into any HTPC case using the included aluminum mounting bracket. The Intiset Thin Mini ITX HTPC case, however, is perfectly suited for the IRS5. It has an internal mounting bracket and an IR window specifically designed for the receiver. In addition, the case has two holes on the back of the unit that can be used for the IRS5 power cable and optional IR extender cable. Let's get started with the installation. Included with the IRS5 are a set of cables which are the motherboard front panel header Y cable, the USB data power cable, the internal power adapter cable, the external power cable and 5 volt adapter. Some of these cables may not be needed depending on the capabilities of your motherboard. Also included is the aluminum mounting bracket and accompanying washers, spacers and screws. If you purchase the IRS5 receiver extender kit, you will have two other cables including the internal IR receiver extender adapter cable and the external IR receiver extender cable. The first step is to install the IRS5 on the IR shelf at the inside front of the case. If you're not using Intiset's thin mini ITX case, you will need to mount the aluminum IR bracket in a location where the IR receiver eye is line of sight visible to the remote. This usually requires that a hole be drilled, 1 8 inch or larger, into the front of the case. If you plan to use the IRS5 IR extender cable kit, you can mount the bracket and the IRS5 anywhere in the case because the IR receiver bud will be external to the case. If you are using Intiset's thin mini ITX case, mounting the IRS5 is simple. Ideally, it's better to mount the IRS5 board before installing the other parts of the computer. Remove the cover to your Intiset thin mini ITX case. Place the two spacer rings over the mounting bracket holes. Place an IRS5 mounting screw and washer through the IRS5 mounting hole. Gently position the IRS5 onto the shelf mount with the screw going into the spacer ring. Using a small head Phillips screwdriver, tighten the mounting screws on one side. Position and tighten the second mounting screw and washer through the other mounting hole. Once the motherboard is installed into the case, locate the front panel pinout diagram in the motherboard's installation instructions. Find the IRS5's motherboard front panel header Y cable. Refer to the motherboard's pinout diagram, then connect the labeled split female leads of the Y cable to their respective locations on the front panel header. It is very important that the indicated polarity of the leads, positive and negative, are connected to the matching pins on the header. If they are reversed, the IRS5 will not function. Connect the IRS5 connector end of the Y cable to the IRS5's motherboard CN4 connector. Connect the single male leads of the Y cable to the matching connectors of the front panel power button's power LED and power switch leads. Again, it is crucial that the polarity of the connections match. Find the IRS5 USB data power cable. Locate the USB pinout diagram in the motherboard's installation instructions. Refer to the motherboard pinout diagram, then connect the labeled male 4-pin lead of the USB cable to the respective locations on the USB header. It is extremely important that the connections to the USB header be connected properly. Connecting this cable improperly could result in the IRS5 burning out. Some motherboards are equipped with internal USB headers that maintain power when the computer is in the off state. Refer to your motherboard's instructions to see if your motherboard has this feature. If it does, the IRS5 can be powered by the USB header and won't need the power from the included IRS5 5V adapter, simplifying the installation. If powered, connect the IRS5 USB cable's USB power lead to the power pin of the motherboard's USB header. Otherwise, leave it disconnected. Connect the IRS5 connector end of the USB data power cable to the IRS5's USB CN1 connector. Find the IRS5's internal power adapter cable. 
connect the IRS-5 connector end of the internal power adapter cable to the IRS-5's 5 vp cn 3 connector. Locate the 3 8 inch hole on the back of the Intiset Thin Mini ITX case. If you're not using Intiset's Thin Mini ITX case, you must either find a similar hole or drill a 3 8 inch hole in the back of your case. Insert the 3 8 inch jack end of the internal power adapter cable into the case's 3 8 inch hole and screw on the fastening nut. If you've purchased the IR extender cable kit, perform step 5. Otherwise, skip to step 6. Find the IRS-5 internal IR receiver extender adapter cable. Connect the IRS-5 connector end of the internal IR receiver extender adapter cable to the IRS-5's EXT CN2 connector. Locate the quarter inch hole on the back of the Intiset HTPC case. If you're not using Intiset's thin mini ITX case, you must either find a similar hole or drill a quarter inch hole in the back of your case. Insert the quarter inch jack end of the internal power adapter cable into the case's quarter inch hole and screw on the fastening washer and nut. Now that you have completed the installation of the internal cables, you may want to find some small nylon wire ties, not included, and tighten up the cables. This will allow for better airflow and prevent cables from touching internal cooling fan blades. You may also want to install your operating system of choice and test the functionality of the unit and the IRS-5 before screwing the case cover back on. Once complete, you can now reattach the cover and insert any external cables such as the external power cable and 5 volt adapter and or the external IR receiver extender cable you may need. Congratulations! You have now completed your installation of the Intiset PC-IRS501 IR receiver.